Well, I'll tell you one thing, it's a good idea to uh, change out your wiper blades with not just the crappy replacements that they sell in retail box stores or usually you'll see them when you walk into auto parts stores or right there, wiper blades. They usually don't sell the good stuff. The reason they don't sell the good stuff is because if you buy the right, the good stuff, you pretty much stay on there forever. Um, these things, you know, I think, I don't know if I replaced the whole thing last time or just the inserts, but um, the rubber on them is never as good right from the beginning. But the number two thing is you're lucky if you get a year and a half out of them. And uh, on that car, the green car, that thing, and also that little 4x4, four four, I put silicone wiper blades and I think that's what these are. These are the best ones from Trico Force, high performance beam blade. They're also good if you're, you know, if you have a problem in the winter time when uh, ice accumulates on things. These will flex off of here a lot better. They're a lot better protected, and they are made where they make better contact with the windshield than using these little things here. These little supports. I mean, these work, but these new ones that are better quality work better right out of the box and plus the other thing is they'll stay working well for a lot of years uh, you probably never have to change freaking wiper blades again you probably just have to clean them once in a while that's about all you have to do and if you get in a lot of rain or heavy thunderstorm you're pretty much going to self clean whereas these and what aggravates me is when you're on these country roads in the back you know and, and it's, they're not well lit you can't, and a car's coming at you, and it's raining out. There's so much glare on a windshield, you can't see crap. I'm not even talking snow conditions. I'm just talking rain. And it's just aggravating. Even if you're brand new, they're not even that great. These, I know these will work because I didn't put this particular brand on there. Actually, I got the silicone inserts, but these are the best ones they make. But you know what? When you buy the best ones for something like this, in other words, if you pay half as much and you wind up changing them every year and a half, well, in a few years you're going to wind up freaking paying more money anyway. Plus, you got to change them out. Plus, you're on driving. It, it, it's not even like safety, you know, like, oh, be so safe, so safe, so safe. I mean, yeah, that's true, but I really can't see crap when I'm driving down um, a country road. And this rain, and you see on, on the oncoming cars got the glare of the lights, and your windshield is like cleaning off fairly well, but nowhere near as good as it can, and you can't see what the hell's on the road in front of you. So this might be the cheapest thing to do because you got some good damn visibility. Not to mention if you got any kind of snow or ice, you definitely want something like this. So, and and you can. If you can find them online, you want to do it the cheaper way, is you can find the silicone inserts, except that a lot of these blades they sell, they're a little bit skinnier, like the width. You got to watch for the width. That's why I didn't get them for this car, because they're a little, the inserts are a little wider than what I had on here, so I just bought the whole blade. But, you know, once you buy them, they're freaking done, right? They just slip on it real easy. These are, I didn't have to add any, they give you these other plastic parts with them, but I didn't need any of that stuff. Because these just hook on, you know, that U-shaped thing just slides right in there and you have a release, so you're on there. But now, you'll be able to see where the hell I'm going in the rain. And uh, make sure you get the right lens. A lot of cars now have two different lens wiper blades. Some don't, some do. The older, really old cars don't, but anyway, so... You can see the big difference. <laughs> These are designed where, you know, they have this little airfoil thing on here, which means, or whatever, not an airfoil, but like um, if the rain is coming up, it's going to direct some of the rain up and over the windshield. It's not going to, you know, like in other words, it doesn't have, it's just a wiper. This is kind of protecting it from, you know, going, in other words, even when it's wiping down a lot of water, it won't go over the wiper. Like this, it would just be the wiper itself, and it would go, th if it doesn't have, if it's overloaded, the water would go through here, and you'd still see water all over the windshield. So this, this is all, 
you can see it's all like it, it's like a big dam so in other words if it's wiping on a windshield it's all covered up here and it's covered here so it's not it's going to make all the water go down and clear everything versus it just flowing up over this and the water the windshield staying wet like when it's really heavy rain so that can help you out a lot you know it is it's uh because i always thought of it like this the one time you don't see something maybe somebody does something stupid i don't know what it could be it could be somebody just walks out in the middle of the road for crying out loud on the country road and you don't see them you're at fault right you know what i mean probably at least partly at fault even though somebody just walked out in the middle of the road or something in front of a car, right? You don't know what the hell somebody's going to do. And uh, so that's one reason I got these. I figured it might be one of the biggest money savers going. I mean, not just talking safety, but financial safety too.